All right, guys, so today I'm gonna teach you how to make your colors pop in Premiere Pro here. And we're talking about maybe any reds or blues that you might have that you really want to pop so that way you can bring the emphasis on the color and the kind of feeling and emotion that that color plays within the scene. And this kind of digs into color science behind why some colors are chosen for certain scenes. But for this tutorial, I'll just show you how to make those colors pop and it's super easy. So let's get to it. All right, so we're in Premiere Pro here and we have two clips. We have what I deemed a romance clip and then I have what I deemed a comedy clip. So we got someone dancing here. We got some nice flowers with someone walking here. Now, the first thing I'm gonna start off with is talking about color correction really fast. And if you do not know what that is, it's pretty much getting the colors correct from things that you didn't get correct when you were shooting the video. So maybe you had exposure down a little bit, etc. You're gonna wanna color correct before you even start color grading. So if you don't know what that is, click the link above right here and then I made a tutorial on how to color correct, really easy, quick, then come back to this video. But you'll notice that when I apply my initial color corrections here, what it does to the video. So now we actually have some colors sort of popping here. We got some nice reds, but we're probably gonna want those to pop even more. And then if we come over here and I apply it, we get some more exposure, some more lighting going on. But for this instance, we want these reds to really pop. We wanna bring out the emotion in these reds. So what we're gonna do is I create an adjustment layer and then I'm gonna add a Lumetri color to that adjustment layer. So we come under effects and presets, find Lumetri color, come and drop it on that adjustment layer. I'm gonna drop on the other one just so for the time being. So we have this Lumetri color. Let's come over here and let's go under HSL secondary. And this is where the magic is gonna happen here. So what you pretty much do is you can select a certain color range that then based off that color range, you can manipulate that color. So for instance, we want these reds. So you can either use the color picker or we can select reds here. And then we're gonna have to mess with hue, saturation, and luminance to get our certain color range we want. And so if you hit this little checkbox called color gray, it's gonna show you everything that you have selected in the video and everything you don't have selected in the video. So if you notice right now when I selected that, anything that is gray is not being selected. So we have the flowers that are selected, we have her face, we have some of the ceiling. So any corrections or any like color grading I apply to this, it's going to affect not only the flowers, but her face, the ceiling. And so we don't want that. So let's mess around with the hue and saturation, and try to figure out what we can do to get this to work here. So you notice that if I change the range of saturations, it's really working good to get anything out but it's starting to bleed into our flowers here. So we might need to bring that tail out a little bit, maybe even, yeah, we're gonna need to bring the hue back just a tad, take that out. So that's definitely looking a lot better here. I like that. So it might not be getting all of it, but we're looking good here. So then we can uncheck the gray and color. And now what we can do is since we have our range selected, we can come down here and now you can change the saturation of it. So you notice as I bump up the saturation, it gets a lot brighter. It gets that poppy color that we're talking about. You can bump up the contrast if you want to. You can even change the temperature of it. So say you don't want it red, maybe you want it purple or you want it more orange. And you can do the same thing with this color wheel as well. You can switch to the shadows, midtones, and highlights. Whatever you like to do on your workflow, this is what you can do and you're only affecting this range that we have selected. So now you notice that we didn't take enough time to really get it perfect here. And so we're actually manipulating some of her face, her neck and her hair. So if you notice, if I were to bump this, let's say way up to orange, how we get some orange going on over here. Well, obviously we're not gonna want that in our video. So an easy way around this is if on this adjustment layer, on this Lumetri color that we have added, if the only thing that you are changing is the HSL secondary, like you haven't made any other adjustments to your uh, basic correction, your creative, only the HSL secondary, 
on this same adjustment layer, you can actually come up and you, we can create a mask around this. And what this is gonna do is it's gonna say that this Lumetri color, this HSL secondary is only going to affect what we have in our mask here. And so by default, it's not going to affect her face. And if you notice that after we have applied that, that nasty orange has now gone away from her face because we have applied this mask here. And so if you wanted to, let's say, bump up the greens as well, it's as easy as alt dragging another adjustment layer up and then coming under HSL secondary and changing it to greens and then applying and messing around with the color range for the greens. And this can be done with blues. It can be done with as many colors as you want. And you might have to mask a few of them out if you can't get it perfect. But that's definitely how to make some colors pop to give them some more emotion in your videos. So now let's move on to the comedy one here. And I'm going to kind of base this one off the same premise where maybe we want to bump up the color of the, uh, the red and the orange. And so we can do the exact same thing where we come under HSL, hit the gray box, and then we kind of mess around with what exactly we're looking for here. Bump that down. Maybe, uh, maybe come back. Let's see. Oh, yeah, there we go. You notice that's going to be kind of different for each scenario, but you're just going to have to kind of mess with it and figure out what exactly is going to give you what you want. So kind of like right, right there kind of looks good. Come in. We can definitely bump up the saturation. We can bump up the contrast if we want, but then I'm going to base this off of quite a bit of comedies that I've seen. And uh, especially like in a uh, Deadpool two, two Deadpool two, this was done where if we come under and uh, I'm gonna mess with the curves a little bit to bring down our shadows and our mid-tones just a tad. And uh, once again, this might be on a case-to-case -case basis or it will be based on your video. So if you're in daylight, you might need to bump these down a little bit more. But I'm gonna bring down the shadows and mid-tones just a tad. And then I'm actually gonna come back to color wheel and match. And in the shadows, I'm gonna apply a very subtle amount of green. And uh, it's literally one or two little clicks of this inner dial here. And uh, it's so hard to tell, um, especially if you look at it for quite a long time. But if I turn it on and off, you can definitely see the hint of green being applied to the shadows here. And if you want, you can even add it to the mid-tones as well. But for some reason, this is something I've noticed that a lot of comedies do. And uh, it's based off color silent color science about what green kind of does when it's in the shadows and the mid-tones. So I hope you guys kind of learned how to make your colors pop in any video you want and actually how to make more colors pop. So if you not only want to pop the reds, but you want to pop the blues as well, you can pop as many colors as you like um, just by adding more layers and adding more Lumetri scopes and messing with that HSL secondary. And hopefully this kind of brings out some more emotions and some more feelings within your videos. With that said, guys, stay tuned till next week, and I'll have another tutorial out. Peace.